Henry, about, all right, go for it. About, about to go on? Yeah, about to go on. Pretty pumped. Um, ready to represent the Bulldogs as best I can. Thanks for all the support, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think one of the one of the one of the most impressive things about him was obviously despite all the individual success that he was having he was still really keen to see the team do well um and in, in fact that was something i'd get on him about a lot during matches you know he'd be worrying about what was happening on court four five and six i'd be like hey take this take let's take care of this course it's pretty evident pretty quickly that he was obviously very talented but he was very much um i mean i think it was a big wide world coming over to america for that you know and you, you, did, you definitely had to show him kind of he needed a lot of discipline his first year, which I think Tom um, Tom implemented, and then a couple of the other seniors were very, very hard on him. And I think we were we were pretty tough on him, which which definitely helped him to kind of focus. Um, his sophomore year, when we we found out we were at Wake Forest when he got actually ranked, it was the Big South Conference tournament. My senior year, his his sophomore year, and he. We found out that he got ranked as a singles player and we thought it was the greatest achievement ever when he, he got ranked like over a hundred or something like that in the country and the, the fact that we were able to get noticed and and through the ncaa was awesome um and like finally got some respect for henry through that and then i mean after that it just he won regionals i think in singles that next year um which was awesome uh, to see, and then the year after that, he won he won doubles uh, with Ollie Nolan, and then they took it. They won the regionals, and then took it to the nationals and won that too. And now Henry's flying the flag at Wimbledon, and Coach Han can actually be like, "Look, if you come here, this is the level that we have proven to develop you at. So it's going to be a huge tool for the for the program moving forward to hopefully establish itself uh, as Big South champions." The, there were already one uh, major event for the program that Henry and uh, um, Oli um, had created is that they won uh, the national championship in doubles. And, you know, the, the word was out at this point that our program was, uh, you know, getting really serious. And I think this is really taking it to the next level with, uh, you know, Henry playing in uh, one of the four biggest tournaments in the in the world before you got officially selected what were your thoughts did like how realistic of a possibility did you think you guys might be in the doubles um well we we were sort of in the conversation for it um that that's what i'd say about that um we we started playing and, and put together a pretty decent run we made the semi-finals of the first tournament we played and then won the next three so from that we knew we were in the conversation. Anyone that's a tennis fan knows how big Wimbledon is, but how is it like being from over there to, wow, I'm actually going to be stepping foot on these hollow grounds? I've spent a lot of time at Wimbledon, whether, you know, I've watched loads of tennis there. I've, I've worked there for a couple of years. I did the stats for, for IBM for a couple of years. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty satisfying to be kind of walking around knowing I'm, I'm playing the event now. Um, definitely hasn't set, kind of settled in yet, but. But yeah, it's it's amazing. What was it that brought you to Asheville in the first place? Yeah, pure chance. Um, in hindsight, probably the best decision I've ever made. Um, I had an amazing time at Asheville. Obviously, Tom is a great coach. Can you envision like the day when you're actually stepping out and it's it's match day? No, not really. Um, you know, I feel pretty calm now. Obviously, we we've come off the back of some some big events. Um, but they are they are nowhere near as big as Wimbledon. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of a seriously. I mean, it's the one of, if not the biggest tournament um, in the world. How are you, boss? You
obviously a close close match today. Not the result we were looking for, but uh, tremendous experience. Talk us through it. Yeah, amazing experience. Um, very frustrating out there today. We played a team, a pair of vets, um, and they were very good. They played better than us, so they, they deserved the win. Um, but yeah, this is the biggest tournament uh, me and Julian have played by far. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to take it all in and, and build and, and keep going. Um, really exciting times for us, and we're looking forward to getting back on the road and, and playing more tournaments and representing Asheville Bulldogs. So what, what is next for you guys? Um, so next we've got a few tournaments in London in the UK, uh, obviously a few smaller tournaments um, and then get, getting back on the road trying to kind of um, play some more challenges which is the next level up um, and yeah try and build our campaign, build our, build our doubles ranking and, and try and be here next year. So talk us through uh, the experience of being at the All England Club for your first Wimbledon Championships. <laughs> yeah it was a little bit scary. Uh, I'm not going to lie, um, it's obviously an intimidating place, I've been coming here for years, I've worked here, I've watched here, so so yeah, it was amazing to, to finally play here, um, it's been a lot of hard work, um, ne never imagined that I'd be playing here, so, so yeah, just trying to take it all in and enjoy it as much as possible.